Hey guys, we Shins here, back with more dark. Uh, what's we doing? One sec. Right, that's better. Thing. Oh, here we go. Bam, bam. God, so blurry. Hey, you're Eric, right? Yep. Tom told me about you. I'm April, April Kruger. If there's anything I can do for you, just let me know, okay? Anything? I have a drink. Give me a drink. Sure thing, Eric. One drink coming up. Eric, what can I do for you? Tell me about vampires. I'd like to help you, Eric, but to be honest, I haven't been one for long. But what would you like to know? Everything. What do you know about vampire abilities? Not much, to be honest. My sister made me a vampire, so I can move super fast, which is pretty cool when you're mixing drinks. But we're not in Rose and Tom's League. I've heard there's some really powerful vampires out there who can throw cars and trucks around or, like, jump from high-rise buildings. But I've never met anyone who could do that, thank God. Okay, so Tom, you know already. He's head of security and makes sure that everything stays cool. The humans are generally no problem, but sometimes other vampires drop by. But so far, everything has stayed under control. Rose owns the place. She is like a real genius with computers, and she's a total tech junkie too. June is my sister. She works here as a DJ. If you want to know anything about her, your best bet is to ask her yourself. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Eric. Go away. See you later. See ya, Eric. Uh, hey, Tom. You fucking tried to shoot me earlier, but I'll hey, talk man. to you. Everything okay? No, you tried to shoot me, you bastard. Rose said you could teach me something more. Not really teach, you know. But I got an idea about how you can train your intuitive reflexes. There's a few thugs hanging around out front of the club. Maybe you could check it out. Sounds Action good to time. me. All right, man. Good luck. I don't need it. Come on. Um, ba, 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 ba. I found myself in a deserted alley. Tom had sent me here for training. Something was wrong. I staggered down the only way I could find. Huh? Wait, wait, stop bloody moving. If you enter an opponent's field of vision, your vampiric powers will prevent him from noticing you immediately. Instead, the yeah, visibility indicator will appear and begin to slowly turn red. Once it is completely red, your opponent will finally notice you and turn aggressive. Hey, that wasn't my fault. It's controlled the movement or something. Hey, man, you look pretty messed up. You don't look too How bad, about a sucker? You got some change? That's right, man. Give us your money, or you are so toast! I felt anger rise in me, a desire to hurt someone, and a craving for blood. What the shit is this? Oh, no, 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 no. He's not even touching him. I couldn't explain what had just happened. Had I just killed someone and drank his blood? Yeah, I think so. I'm pressing LB. Ah, screw you. I'm telling. 
telling you, the bastard Dud Mikey tore his fucking throat out. Okay, man, calm down. We'll keep you safe. If he comes over here, we'll take him out. Wait, wouldn't that guy become a vampire now? Cause didn't she say that if you suck someone's blood and they die, they become a vampire? I don't know. Target a piece of cover and press LT. As long as you hold LT, you remain in cover. As long as you're in cover, let me guess, enemies can't detect you. Oh, where are we going? Oh. Huh? Feeding on the semi was alert nearby opponents. Get rid of him silently. Wait, I didn't get to read that. Press A briefly to kill an opponent. This won't gain you any blood, but it's significantly quiet. Turn fast and then feed him. Okay. Oh, I'm dragging him now. Get down here. Right there. As a vampire, you can use your bond with night and darkness to spring through the shadows. Hold RB to activate targeting mode. Target in the point of the arrow marked and release the RB button to move it. No one saw Something's that. Something's here. Oh, more reading. Shadow leap is very useful when you want to move around unseen. However, it does make a noise when you arrive at your destination. A noise that could attract nearby enemies. <gasps> Later you can reduce the volume of his noise. Ah oh, man, now I'm imagining things. <laughs> Fucking hell. Each enemy killed next you experience points that you can use to improve your vampiric powers. Oh cool. Enemies who haven't noticed you bring much more experience than alarmed enemies. If you've managed to cross a number of areas without triggering an alarm, you'll receive additional bonus points. Oh! I need a new controller. It's moving on its own. Let's feed off this bastard. It takes quite long to suck their blood. Was that all of them? Or? Oh, no. Shot ever. Shit! The fuck are you? Your worst nightmare. You've been wounded, Chris. Guess we need to regenerate. <laughs> Use your Vita. Your wounds also heal on their own given time. Ah! So I've got wax control up. There we go. So how do I get this guy? Damn it! Sensitivity.
Is that use Vita? Oh no, it's got a cooldown. Very long cooldown. When the opponent sees a comrade's body, he immediately turns aggressive and starts to look for you in order, in order to avoid this. You should hide the body to... Okay. Come here, old man. There we go. What? He's in it. To shadow leap, you can easily teleport yourself onto ledges. Target a ledge and press RB. As a vampire, your senses are much finer than those of a normal person. Hold RT to activate your vampire vision. It allows you to see enemies through walls or slow the flow of time around you. Epilepsy. Okay, we quick kill this. You know, actually, I'm just gonna cut a video real quick. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be right back.